It's been a while since I've set up camp. I should probably rest for another hour and continue my journey. I don't think this was an ideal place to set up camp for a long time. So I'll just relax for one hour. Now then, after resting for that short while, I believe I should set camp and head on. I can't really say this is the most ideal place. Okay. Pack up. And I will destroy the campfire so no one can follow me. Seems those wolves on the horizon are no friendly either. Let's continue on. <laughs> Maybe something decent at the top of this mountain. If you can call it a mountain. Perhaps up there would be a good place. High, no one could find me. Easily, that is. Juniper berries. It's a raging river towards the bottom. Huh. It's another camp. By the looks of it, it's a forsworn camp. If Stenvar was here, maybe I would investigate, but it is not my concern. Alright, now to get to the base. Alright, I don't think anyone saw me. Whoa! What? What the hell is that? What kind of monstrosity is this? Is it circling the camp? I have to get out of here. No, it's circling me. I have to get to the other side of this river. This looks like a shallow bank. I can get across without getting wet. Whew. Water's cold. Hello? Looks like dwarven materials. Hello? Talk to me. First, she's the mouth of this operation. If she says you're okay, then we'll talk. Operation? Dwarven operation? The good tidings. Are you B? Tidings, honored guest. My name is Beatrice. The raffish companion you see beside me goes by the name of Wuzo. The timing of your visit is rather impeccable. Wuzo has just secured a fresh skiver which we hope to repair at the top of the hour. We welcome you to join us in the consumption of this delectable feast. I don't necessarily see the skiver. You chest-honored visitor. 
its visage is clearly within your range of eyesight. Although indubitably you were directed to this camp not by its countenance, but by its aroma, which is quite exquisite. However, it will do us no good without the proper refreshments to balance it. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Oh, forgive my manners. I am but an erstwhile savage, who only but recently gained her powers of articulation. So tell me about the orc. Orzeb is a fine host, and it is by virtue of his hunting skill that we are blessed with this current feast. Unfortunately, he is far less loquacious than I, especially in the presence of new guests. However, our guests may find that after a bottle of refreshment and some time by the campfire, the words flow faster than the cough itself. And what do you do? We are troubadours, celebrators of life. We drink and we feast from twilight to cockscrow, in tribute to tradition and song. Many peddlers, hunters, and even forsworn will pay good coin for a warm fire, good drink, and a verse from the poetic Edda. Hmm. Until next time. Interesting looking camp you have. Where did you learn to speak so well? Why, dear guest, it was not more than twenty paces from where you stand. If this answer perplexes, allow me to recount the events that transpired. I had recently absconded from Druidoc Redoubt, with two bottles of refreshment on my person when I arrived at the bank of the river. Viewing the campfire in proximity to the Dorvan ruin, I attempted to cross the river, warily dipping my toes into rushing current. The water was as cold as it was irritable, so I decided to abandon this pursuit, given I am not well versed in the swimming craft. Yet no sooner did I return than a great big dragon swooped overhead, the force of which catapulted me into the water. I fought the current kicking and gulping, and in my tantrum I managed to wedge my leg between two rocks. It was rather embarrassing, although I took some consolation in the fact that I was not the first to drown in such an inglorious manner. Who were the others? No, for laying in the rock beside me was a skeletal fellow. More bones and skin, and more clothes than bone. He seemed to have died from a fracture of the skull. His lifeless body was nestled comfortably beside the very rock that pinned my leg. Meanwhile, Urzab, having witnessed my folly, rushed to the river to rescue me, but I could only stare pensively at the spindly corpse in the river. Then I noticed his right hand seemed to glimmer like a bauble, which makes sense as he was clutching one. I reached for the bauble just as Urzab reached for me. He forced me on the river like a bear swatting the salmon. When I first spoke to Urzab, I did not recognize the words, for there were none I had ever acquainted myself with before. The bauble, you see, was not a bauble. It was an amulet of articulation. So why did you set up a camp here? Why, there could be no other place. It is chosen by serendipity itself. Your presence makes our total attendance three, each of us drawn by our curiosity to this Dorvin obelisk. As for myself, I ventured from across the river, from a cave known as Thruadak Redoubt. For you see, I was once a member of the despicable clan of rogues and derelicts known as the Forsworn. Whoa. So you're telling me you're one of these Forsworn? How did you leave them? A disagreement over refreshments led to my departure. Verily, I was not alone in my thirst, for as I ventured north, another came south. My associate Uzo was slaving in the mines of Morkazgur, when a similar thirst afflicted him and sent him south to this location. It is for that reason that I have dubbed this settlement Les Kazgur. After all, as half the population is still orc, by rule it still classifies as a stronghold, more or less. What kind of refreshments you keep referring on to? For our honored guest, we have the cleanest refreshment this world has to offer, although I cannot speak for the next. Now, when I say clean, I hope that I'm not misrepresenting the potency of our drink, as I am referring to a very specific type of clean. 
The word clean can be defined in a variety of ways. There is clean like the Koth River, and clean like the smell of a brisk summer breeze. There is a clean like the white of a freshly washed tunic, or clean like the inside of a recently scrubbed cauldron. Yes, yes. Whether it is a clean river, a clean towel, or a clean shave, the difference is in the surface. And what does this have to do with the drinks? One might say clean refreshment and clean taste come when a drink washes smoothly over the surface of your tongue. The refreshments we have gathered, on the other hand, seek to clean the surface of the mind. It can be imbibed or inhaled, smoked or suckled, but the result is the same. Crystal clarity. Is that skooma? Our most welcome guest has an acute sense of smell, although my associate and I prefer the term refreshment as it more accurately defines the drink. Hmm, and how will this skooma make me more creative, as you say? Why, by cleansing our guest of all banality. Imagine every boring thought left stranded in your mind, washed away in a tide of concentrated joy. While others hope for the improbable and dream the impossible, when your mind is cleansed of preconception, the impossible will dream of you. I ask you, Traveler, when is the last time the impossible stumbled across your mind? When did you last think of things that cannot be thought, because the mind thought beyond what should be thought? In the time between this sentence and the last, I have witnessed two such fantastical events. Well, considering I just saw a dragon that should not even exist for the very first time in my life, I do not know. But I believe I should leave now. Perhaps later on, I'll come and enjoy the fire camp. But I need to venture forth. Until next time. Quite an odd couple. Only takes half of a population to be considered a stronghold, eh? Perhaps I may see them again soon. As I continue. Saber. No, I'm not going to lose you. This is one of the first big hunts I've ever had. Mostly small, lesser animals, but this... Calm and focus. It's a perfect shot. He's hurt. Easy now, beast. Easy now. see what do you have your pelt will be the first that I take it's freezing I should set up a fire Going to continue this, this will be my first place that I'll camp for the night. First things first, a bottle of booze should keep me warm. Good strong wine. Now then, there's no trees directly around. Over there is one. That would be good. This is a dried out tree. Damn. I guess I'll have to harvest 
branches. I have to keep going. I'm almost there. Just one more good harvest. More cats. I'm going to die at this rate. I just have to hope that they don't come over. That would be a good spot. Whew. And the storms come terrible. Should set up camp as well. Too cold. I'll have to spend some time here. That pelt will be nice. Perhaps I can hunt the other saber wolves. Eat some. That is all the water I had. But I'm content, and for now, I'll rest a little bit. still very cold, but the heat and being inside a tent saving my life. I should rest now. Until tomorrow, travelers.